Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about the implementing adult development strategies and I, I'm going to divide my topic into four, uh, five sections. The first section I was talking, I'm going to talk about uh, what is Rosman Adult Learning Inventory, the abbreviation is R-A-L-I. And the second section is, is about how to provide the best form of delivery, research by Romero 1990. and. Uh, the third section is about psychodrama delivery, delivery new meaning, a research by PMN 1990, and the fourth is about adults professional development by research by Francis 1990, and number five is how to use the series of stress research was done by McCready in 1990. So first section, um, what is Rosman Adult Learning Inventory, RALI? RALI consists of a series of general statements about the characteristics of the adult learner over 20 years of age, which classifies into four factors. Number one, the orientation to learning. And number two is the mental abilities. And number three, physiological factors. And number four, psychological factors. So I will list examples for each of the factors, okay? Now here are some examples of orientation to learning um, statements okay now the statements could be like adult learners will be encouraged to uh, relate new or difficult concepts to their existing experience and then you choose true or false okay the statement could also be like most adult um, education occurs outside the formal education institutions and then you choose true or false Mental abilities, some examples of the statements could be like age influences the uh, spread of learning, then you have to choose true or false. And the, another statement could be like all students have the same learning style and true or false, you choose, okay? And the physiological factors, the statements could be uh, like maximum auditory acuity attains by about 15 years of age and you choose to oppose and statement could be like learning performance declines with age and you choose true or false psychological factors could be statements could be like adult really hold the opinion that they are unable to learn and you choose true or false or could be like adulthood is not a development period in itself and you choose true or false okay these are the examples of the uh, Rosman Adult Learning Inventory for testing the adults. Okay, um, so when you testing the adults, you use now modern form of um, uh, inventory uh, testing system. And this is just the 1990s where I get the res uh, get the research from the articles, and you will get the idea of how uh, how. The institutions test the adults in terms of their development straight, um, stages. Okay, now according to Rosman 1990, again this is a uh, past articles that I have um, researched from. So he say to change teaching, counseling, advising, or learning styles, it is necessary to understand adult learning characteristic and their implication. Okay, so you need to test them using the uh, event, uh, learning inventory, right? Wherever it is. And I'm just using the example of the Rosman Adult Learning Inventory, but nowadays we have a more modern one, okay? Now, second session I'm going to talk about is the how to provide the best form of delivery, uh, which research by Romero 1990. So to do this, he say there should be a re review of current techniques and uh, facilitator attitudes and knowledge. There are three development factors, he said. So number one, he focused on the stage theory in adult development. For example, theories by Erickson, 1943 and Robert. Theories by Herringhurst in 1972. Theories by William Perry, 1970. And theory by Rollinger in 1976. And he is also um, mentioned about the second one, the physical development. So take note that the physical strength and um, the most bodily functions peak when a person is in her or his 20s, then gradually decline. Number three, he focused on cognitive development. So intelligence reach is peak around the age of 
18 to 21 years old and then gradually decline all right now come to my third sections of this topic uh, about psychodrama uh, adult implementing strategies remember the topic so about the psychodrama my third section discovery new meaning which researched by PMN in 1990 so according to PMN psychodrama is a stage when the imagination and the cognitive meet are uh, on a very human stage so what is psych what is psychodrama got to do with learning number one the living interest of the adult student is deeply involved in personal histories. Number two, adults often ask who they are, where have they been, and what can they do, what do they want to do. And number three, use the imagination to release the past experience into a form of freedom at that moment. This is suggestion by PMN in 1990. And he also uh, uh, talk about number four, during the reign of imagination, an adult can enter into a state of conscience, consciousness where possibility lived and where imagination and cognitive meets. All right. So to apply psychodrama into adult learning, we must focus on number one, the application. So what is the application? To pay attention, which is to pay attention to emotional and cognitive development. And two, number two, we pay attention on architect drama. So use the root ideas like uh, missed figures, dominant fantasy, fantasies, or potentials of the structure. Number three, to apply psychodrama into adult learning, he also suggests the individuation, which means the collect um, possibilities of a person, the entire sweep of inner and uh, outer potential, and the conjunction possible between the conscious and the unconscious. To apply psychodrama, he also suggests about the dreams, activity of dreams that might bring new life to the conscious attitudes of a person. He also suggests about the benefits, depends on the individual. Some may have a breakthrough while the drama is innate. Others may have the experience of profound insight, um, which is like after days or after weeks. Okay, these are the studies by psychodrama studies by um, sorry by PMN. Sorry, there are too many, so I forgot about this. And my come to my fourth sections, uh, the study by Francis nineteen ninety about adult professional development. So there are strategies such as self directed learning, lifelong learning, and on the job training where adults work towards the professional development. So not only that, some other factors such as number one, career change, number two, personal fulfillment, and number three, social involvement. All right. So Francis also suggests Warden Program. Um, he, he said that Warden Program is to offer professional and personal competence for mature adults and also to enhance his abilities through scholarly inquiry and also it is the advancement of knowledge of an adult in matters of societal significance and also to provide resources and programs for adults who are having difficulty attending the institutions because of professional responsibilities established families and individual learning styles and also he suggests that the um, water program helps faculty as as mentors role models facilitators and educational outcomes for the participants finally the uh, water program also helps to adopt lifelong learning for life planning and career development the, this is just a program that was um adopted by francis and just a suggestion okay there are many many programs nowadays so now come to my final section number five so how to use a series of stress research by mcclary in 1990 so the benefits of the programs incorporate with the stress theories number one is support for personalized advising individual programs of study building social support relationships with peers and professionals, programs of study integrate into students' life and work. Number two, is support for the opportunities to have uh, instructors model coping effectively and a healthy lifestyle. 
So the benefits of the programs uh, incorporated with stress theory is also number four. To, it's a positive program to cope with uh, negative stresses using specific stress management techniques. And also number five, to promote students with physical health, quality of life, and less prompt to disease. Okay, so stress evidently leads to health programs like mental illness, heart diseases, stroke, immune system, and response, and possibly cancer. So stress can also decrease job satisfaction, loss of productivity, illness, and even death. So stress is related to adult development tasks such as challenges of marriage, parenting, military tools of duty, work with ex-victims, and many other careers. So the basic of adult programs is deal with adult development. And therefore it seems natural to investigate and um, also focus on stress management. According to McClary, McClary research, okay, now I emphasize again about the stress. So he said there are specific strategies for coping with stress program. Uh, the program like for example first one a program designed to allow the uh, for and also be responsive to uh, uh, to stress factors that influence the participants he also suggests the orientation sections to acquaint the students with the uh, effect of stress and it can manage on the learning environment and also the individual individualized programs of study based on a personal um, contract contract of commitment and intent intent and number four integration of the program of study into students work and lives recognizing that their education does not necessarily rank first in priority number five the personal attention in advising and mentoring along with social support and number six the provision of academic is challenge and rigor for adults who are developmentally right for an intense educational aspect experience. Right? In conclusion, today we have learned that uh, Roseman adult learning eventually classifies into four factors, which is orientation to learning, mental abilities, physiological factors, and psychological factors. So to provide the best of delivery, focus on adult three development factors. Number one, the stage theory, uh, in adult development and number two the physiological development and three cognitive development sorry number two is a physical development and number three cognitive development and psychodrama is when the imagination and cognitive meet on a very human stage we also learn today there are strategies such as self-direct learning lifelong learning and on the job training where adults work towards professional development. So we also learned that stress evidently leads to health problems like mental illness, heart diseases, stroke, immune system response, and possibly cancer. So the basic of adult program is deal with adult development. So therefore, it seems natural to investigate and also focus on stress management. Okay, that concludes my today's topic on uh, implementing adult development strategies and my next topic will be the four curriculum orientation and their comparisons okay stay tuned thank you for listening and goodbye